Hello. Many people talk about Anafi and Mavicare. Anafi and Mavicare, which is the best, which is better? Anafi or Air? I think the best is the Mavic 2. Pro or Zoom? It's the best drone on the market, foldable, foldable drone. And the Mavic Pro. Then these two. Which one is the best? Which one is the best? I don't know. Better construction with sensors. Good camera. Flight time is a shit. Flight time is not... Short flight time, I don't like it. Good camera. Good flight time. That range. With interferences in 2.2 GHz. Instruction is okay. The batteries are very expensive. 99.99 euros or dollars. It's very expensive. These batteries are less expensive. And both are intelligent batteries, I think. This one is intelligent. This one is intelligent. Both films record in 4K. Full HD. 60 frames per second in Full HD. Slow motion. But this one records in 2K in 60 frames per second. This is not. What can I say more? I think this one is more reliable than this one, but maybe not, maybe it's the same. The range, I don't know, I, I have to test it, it's the only way. So let's go to the field and test these drones together. Hello again, so let's go to make some tests here in this cold weather and windy. I don't feel like to go outside, but I must go. Let's go. Okay. Forgot, forget the sun shades from sun hood. Okay, okay. Let's turn it on. <coughs> Let's go. Go fly. Everything looking good, I think. Try to give vision, of course. Battery performance we lowered when it is lowered to 50. Uh, Okay, too bad. Okay, the settings will be. Okay. Just in 1080, 60 frames per second. Everything is in auto mode, like that. So let's make a test range. Recording and precise takeoff, and let's go.
Okay. Let's go... Maybe 100 meters. And go in the direction of this water deposit to see how far can he goes. Let's go higher. Damn wind. Very slow. Okay, let's lower it to 100. Okay, and go forward. How far can you can you go? Five hundred meters and keep going. Remember we are in an urban area, so there's a lot of interferences. Very nice. One kilometer and keeps going. Quite easy. Big signal of course. <laughs> Flawlessly. Let's go higher. Oops, signal lo losing. Let's go one one ten. Let's go one twenty. Okay. And it keeps going. One kilometer and almost uh, an off. There you go. It's breaking a little bit. And it's and it's over. No signal. Okay, return home. Go home. There you go. One, almost two kilometers, not bad. Not bad at all. There you go. Landing. There you go. Police car, shit. Okay, okay. It's done. <laughs> it's done. The police car going here and going away. That's funny, isn't it?
Now's your time. Okay, let's go. High frame rate, what is it? High frame rate, everything is in the auto mode. Let's see the connection, GPS is red of course. Screen, let's take off. So let's go to the deposit. Going one hundred meters high, like the other. Already starting to having problems on the connection. Starting having problems in the Wi Fi connection. Let's go a little bit higher to 110 first. A lot of problems. And the Wi Fi connection. So let's go one hundred and twenty to get a better signal. Okay, one kilometer done, it's okay. Let's see if we can go a little bit far very difficult at this point I think we cannot change the channel of course on the and is returning home less range than the Mavic Air Maybe in 5 GHz can go far, I don't know. I could try it. A lot of problems on connection. Let's see where he's going to land. I lose the connection here, near. Parrot is going to make another drone. I hope they make a better Wi Fi connection or other kind of connection because this is not good at all. Let's see where he's going to land. Okay, it's not landing, of course. It's 
just then. Let me try another thing. This damn weather. I'm gonna try another kind of connection in 5 gigahertz to see if it goes farther, farther or something. The GoPro have moisture on the lens. What a crap. Okay. Now he's in 5 gigahertz. Now let's see what, how far can he goes. 65% battery. Let's go faster this time. going to handle this. Already losing? That's nice, isn't it? Already losing signal. What a crap. What a goddamn crap. Okay, going up. Going 120. Okay, already in 120. And connection problems, even in 5 gigahertz. See how far can he go? Punching the antenna. It's not bad for 5 gigahertz, I think. Almost one kilometer. And passing one kilometer, losing and losing. <sighs> Let's press return home. Weak connection. So the Mavic Air goes much further <laughs> when it comes back to the starting point. Once more time. Losing connection here. I don't know nothing about it. Maybe it's over my head somewhere. This time, we're at the place. Okay, let's land it.
So, after all those slides, I was surprised and disappointed at the same time. I mean, I was surprised with the Mavic Air. It goes beyond my expectations, except for the flight time and nothing else. I mean, the bad thing I encounter here is the the flight time, but the rest it was amazing. The range is amazing, was amazing. Uh, the strength of the Wi-Fi signal on the FPV was amazing. The construction of this drone is was is amazing. Uh, maybe the props, the propellers are a bit, a little bit louder and noisy. And the disappointment in this time was the uh, nothing, because of the the Wi-Fi signal is poor. I don't know. The Parrot may made a, an update, and the signal was better this time i mean no less interferences and less cuts on the on the connection but the range was a little bit less than the the the, the mavic air both of these drones have uh, those those things like asteroids and those effects and all that stuff panoramic and, and those things i will not uh, talk about it i don't care for now and the difference is the cameras i think sometimes i prefer the anafi camera and sometimes i prefer this camera i don't know this is a sony sensor maybe because of that and this is another kind of sensor in my opinion both are different after all this one is is more silent i prefer that this one uh, have more flight time i prefer that but the reliability is better on this one And the plastics feel cheap on, on this one, and on this doesn't feel cheap at all. And look at that. On the bottom I have two, four sensors, two cameras and two vertical sensors. Enough, you only get one camera and one sensor, one sonic sensor, and nothing more. And the Mavic Air have two on the front, two on the back. I don't like the, the fact the battery is on the bottom of the Mavic Air because the button is on the bottom. It's not, it's not practical, I mean. I used to press here or here or back on the, on the drones when I will start to fly. But the, this one, I, I'm not used to it. To take the drone, press twice here, put again, like that. It's strange. But it's okay. This one got, got three axis gimbal. This one have two axis gimbal and a third digital gimbal. This one have a zoom, a digital zoom. This one don't have any digital or optical zooms. Zoom. These these uh, these antennas, Wi-Fi antennas, I think, reminds me the the Bebop drones and the Navi too. The price of the batteries are different. This battery is a three cell battery, intelligent flight battery. This one is two cell battery and 
Looks supposedly uh, intelligent battery too. But this one gives almost 20, uh, 20, more than 20 minutes flight. This one don't. The other thing I like very much on this drone is the the follow on this. You can follow this drone can follow us without any controller or phone or nothing, just with the hands. That's amazing. I don't use it very much, the follow, but I was surprised with this with this way of following and getting away from the objects and all that. This is the downside on this one. This one doesn't have any front sensors or whatever. If he, he, he follows you, if there are any obstacles, he goes to the obstacle and fall and crash. One of the things I prefer on the Parrot drones is the flight plan. It's awesome. It, fl it works very well and very easy to use and the DJI on these drones don't have that there's a lychee with the function of uh, planning a flight but I don't know I, pr I prefer the Parrot flight plan it's more easy to use and it gives very nice results The controllers, this one don't have a screen like the Mavic Pros and Mavic 2, but it's okay. It lacks the this wheel to control. This one controls the gimbal, and the, and here don't have the control to the wheel to control the exposure and all that. But we can by pressing this button at the same time we. we all this and can control the, the exposure. The parrots don't have that wheel. I missed that on here. And this one is for zooming. This one is for controlling the um, the gimbal up and down. The position is more intuitive when we press like that. The gimbal goes down. And we when we press this way, the gimbal goes up. And this one is horizontal. Sometimes we, we messed up and we are thinking we are going to press down and press up and, and all that. As I mentioned in other videos, I don't like this kind of turning on the, the controller. I, I prefer to have a button to turn on and off this, this controller and there's no space for a tablet this one have the same problem don't have a space for a big tablet as i mentioned in other videos i don't like bo both of the controls well because of that if i started to fly imagine if i started now i don't i don't have any kind of drones and looking at these two drones it was a little bit difficult to choose what drone i will pick up because it's don't have enough flight time this one don't have sensors this one is, is noisy this one is less noisy and uh, these have better range and transmission this have this one have worst transmission and a little bit less range these batteries are not uh, cheap, they are very expensive, about 100 heroes, what, they, what are they thinking? It's a lot of money for a battery, this battery is, is of course it gives less flight time but it's less expensive. If I have to pick up one, if imagine if I don't have any more drones, I don't know, I really don't know. It's a little... Bit difficult to choose, but I may I 
maybe I will choose this for reliability. But because I have a Mavic Pro, I definitely choose this one. Better range, good flight time, and all that. If I have to choose one of these three, I'd certainly go with this one. But because I have the Mavic 2 Pro, Pro or Zoom, of course this one is the better of all. The best foldable drone on the market. It's expensive, but it's just better. So, of course, I will choose this one from all of the drones, this one. And because I have a Mavic Pro and a Mavic 2, I have to take one of these away because it's too much drones and I don't need so much drones to fly and film. Um, I will take this, no, I will take this and this I'm going to sell because I don't need it. And you are asking why? Because I have this one. This one does it all. But sometimes I can use this because this one is very silent and discreet for some occasions and then I think I will keep the Karatanafi just for that, for some situations. So this is my pickup, my, I will choose this, this two to carry around and nothing more. So thank you for watching, subscribe my channel please and leave on the comments what you think about all the quads I all the drones I show here and the tests I have made thank you